When visiting Seattle, a definite must-do is a trip across the Puget Sound on the Bainbridge Island Ferry, part of the Washington State Ferry System, currently the largest ferry system in the United States. You do not need a reservation, nor can you make one. It is a first-come, first-served. On this day, for one passenger, it was $19 for the trip from Seattle to Bainbridge and $17 for the return trip. If you are without car, just a walk-on passenger, you are only charged for the trip from Seattle to Bainbridge and the return trip is free. Pulling up on the ship is quick and easy. You go through a gate, give your credit card, and drive right on the ship. Wait till the vessel is ready to board. Just amazing how many vehicles it can carry. A ferry leaves the Coleman Dock about every 45 minutes at 801 Alaskan Way in Seattle. So if you happen to miss one, it won't be long until the next one. They run from about 5 a.m. to midnight. Other ferries I have ridden, you do not have access to your vehicle. But on this ferry, you can either stay in your car or go up on the passenger deck. With a view like this, I can't imagine why anyone would want to stay in their car. There are always two Jumbo Mark II class vessels operating at a time, the Wenatchee and the Tacoma. We rode on the Wenatchee, which holds 203 spaces for vehicles. This ferry is very pet friendly. I was also amazed at the cafe on board. Plenty of food options, popcorn, soup or chili for the sometimes cold Seattle weather to warm you up. Now, of course, this is Seattle and there has to be a coffee shop on board. Even if you don't want to wait in line for coffee, you also have a coffee vending machine as well. Remember all those cars you saw waiting to board? Well, even with all that traffic, there is plenty of room on the inside. Plenty of chairs or tables if you would like to dine or work. Of course, many of the people are taking in the beautiful view on the outside. It is an 8.6 mile trip across the Puget Sound to the city of Winslow on Bainbridge Island. The trip takes about 35 minutes. It is just long enough to really take in the view, but yet doesn't take too much time. Before you know it, there is an announcement. We are arriving in Bainbridge. Please return to your vehicles. Drivers and passengers, return to your vehicles. Many bicyclists also use the ferry for a ride on Bainbridge Island. If you don't have a bike, you can also rent one on the island. Well, time to drive on the island. There are many things to do on Bainbridge Island. Bolsbo's historic Little Norway is one of Kitsap Peninsula's favorite and most popular destination for visitors of all ages and interest. Stroll down Front Street to explore galleries, museums, and shops. Or dine in one of several waterfront restaurants for a bite to eat overlooking the marina in Waterfront Park. If you want some of the best fish and chips in the world, check out JJ's Fish House. The three-piece cod was absolutely delicious. After a day of fun on Bainbridge Island, it was time to head back to Seattle. Get ferry schedules and more at BainbridgeIsland.com. We are doing a complete video of Seattle, which will be posted in the next couple of days. Subscribe to our channel to see more. We are Tampa Aerial Media, shooting travel promos across the USA. Thank you for watching.